In this video, I'm going to show you how to add shadow layers to text. So let's get started. Let's grab our text tool, type some text. Now I want this to be centered, so I'm going to click on this button right here, Align Center, and these are too far apart. So I'm going to choose the line spacing, and I'm going to lower that until I get them closer together where I like them to be. Then I'm going to choose my arrow. I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path, Ungroup, Path, Union. Now, before I do a path union, if you wanted to move any of these letters around, just deselect. Uh, let's say we wanted to, and double click on that one, not double click, but click and click again. If you double click real fast, you're going to get your nodes, and that's not what you want. Okay. And then select everything by left clicking and drawing a box around it, and then go to Path Union. Now go to Path, Linked Offset, and you're going to have a triangle appear on this top line somewhere. So click on a color, grab that arrow, left click on it, and pull it up. I'm going to do two layers, so I want this one to be a little bit thin. Once I get it where I want it, I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path, Selection Tool, and Lower to the bottom. You want to get in the habit of doing that so that if you have four or five layers, you want to make sure you're adding your next layer to the bottom layer. Okay? So go to Path, Linked Offset again. Choose another color, left click on that little diamond, and pull it upwards. Okay, and then go to Path, Object, Path. Now, this is going to be my last layer, and I want those holes filled in that are in between my, um, in the middle of my letters. So I'm going to raise that layer to the top. Then I'm going to choose my node editing tool, the tool right underneath your selection arrow, and these little squares are going to pop up. So I'm going to draw, left click and draw a box around them and delete them. Okay. And any stray ones also, I'll just delete. I might want to keep that, but this one right here I don't need. These two right here I don't need. This one I don't need. I just need the ones on the outer and any holes that I do want to keep. So I don't need these here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm going to lower that back to the bottom. And then I think I'm going to choose the black, and I'm going to make that color white. Red, white, and blue. Why not? Okay. So then left click and draw a box around all of it and group it. When you take this into Design Space or whichever program you use that uses SVGs, then you'll have three layers. So go to File. Save as, find a destination, give it a name, and save it as a plain SVG. Okay? And that's it. Pretty simple. So I hope you've learned something, and I hope you put it to good use, and you join me for my next video.